This year's much-anticipated CLE Family Fair is now over, and organizers say the turnout was record-breaking following a two-year hiatus due to COVID. And the plans for next year's fair will soon be in the works. Jess Clement has the details. The CLE grounds were busy once again Monday, but not with visitors. Instead, crews with select shows were hard at work cleaning and packing up the rides, games, and food stands. It was a much different sight over the past five days and nights, as big crowds flooded the fairgrounds with lines of people stretching down May Street onto Isabel Street. The classic rock concerts each night also drew several thousand people to the concert area. Organizers were originally worried whether the lingering effects of the pandemic might affect how many people would show up for the fair this year, but they ended up being blown away by the number of visitors who came out during the week. Trying to get as close as possible, but uh... Uh, we certainly broke the record. 74,000 is an estimate, and that's kind of on a little bit of low side, but uh, we're, we're pretty close to that target, easy uh, with, with the numbers we have in front of us. So, yes, it's been a record year. For, for me, anyways, here, th th that's probably the tops that I ever seen. It. Lishawood says they'll start planning for next year's fair soon, starting with a critique meeting to help them reflect on this year's fair, followed by a look to the future and what direction they want to go in. And while they're hoping for big numbers again, Lishawood says the pandemic and two-year hiatus was a major factor in bringing crowds in this year. I, I, I can't tell you for sure in terms of a crowd. I think this is an exceptional year because of COVID and people wanting to get out. But if we can uh, stay on target like we have uh, this year, it, it would be great. Jessica Clement, TBT News.